Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to discuss the idea of autonomous expenditure. Why autonomous expenditure is identified separately? Is it something which is similar to the usual expenditure or is it something exactly same as the usual expenditure? Or on the other hand, is it different from the usual expenditure? What is the role of autonomous spending? Let's have a look into these kind of things in this session and let's go to the discussion. Moving to autonomous expenditure. This is also known in the name of autonomous spending. And this autonomous spending is something that is identified as a necessary expenditure. So, this is independent of your income. This would happen regardless of what your income is. So, this is independent of your income. If your income is zero, then too autonomous spending will happen or autonomous expenditure otherwise you will confuse it with aggregate supply i was referring to autonomous expenditure or autonomous spending this will happen and how can this happen you might either go for borrowing just by asking your friends or relatives your uh, neighbors or you might borrow from bank or else you will be using your past savings and why do you spend for such autonomous reasons I mean not autonomous reasons why do you go for autonomous spending here because even if your level of income is zero you need to consume food you need water you need shelter you need clothes to wear and you will not get anything of these for free you have to pay for these and for that reason you will either borrow or use your past saving if your level of income is zero to spend for these items now coming to the government level as far as the government is concerned, we know that a government is basically to ensure welfare of its people. And mostly the government would be running a deficit budget where there would be a revenue situation falling short. Not the sign, the sign with respect to the expenditure so that means the expenditure would be more than the revenue of the government and how can the government deal with this the government would go for borrowing because the government need to fund for various needs and wants of the economy it has to go for infrastructural development it has to deal with the social security measures for all these things government would need to spend money sometimes the tax collections of the government would be less sometimes the fees fines uh, and penalty etc collected by the government would be less making the revenue to fall short the revenue will show a shortage but the government need to deal with different needs and wants of its people so it will go for funding and for the very same reason there will be autonomous spending and this is what happens during the 1930s recession so during the 1913 recession which had taken its ultimate form which made the 1930s depression it was not a simple recession that happened recall it is the great depression of 1930s right it is not a simple recession. Recession had taken an ultimate form. 
a severe extreme form which we call as the 1930s depression great depression that's how we call it so what happened by that time by that time the marginal efficiency of capital was very less so the private individuals were not coming forward to make spending and at that time even the government was not having money with it but the government had gone for autonomous spending and this autonomous spending plays a very important role in the economy because as a result of multiplier effect it will increase the income and this is what keynes told and this is what happened after 1930s this is what happened even in the 2008 recovery phase after the 2008 crisis so there was a crisis a financial crisis that happened in 2008 which made a recession situation so the government was taking some recovery measures and autonomous spending and fiscal stimulus packages were some of the main steps taken by the government and how it can happen so there would be some autonomous spending or expenditure by the government and this will create investment and this investment will create income so how investment here will be increasing and it will increase income and the effect that works here is multiplier effect <laughs> so autonomous spending has its own role in the economy but we have to understand that it is not affected by the income your income might be zero in the case of the government also the government's income can be zero but autonomous spending would be there and it would be constant the government has to maintain the that particular level of spending for the economy so it will go for a constant level of autonomous expenditure regardless of the level of income but definitely even though it is and affected by the level of income it gets affected for by some other factors and what can be the factors it might get affected with the interest rate it might get affected with the type of fiscal policy the kind of economic scenario the foreign exchange rates consumer confidence all will influence the autonomous spending but it is definitely independent of the level of income now it's time to understand the difference between autonomous spending and induced spending or if we call it as induced expense or induced expenditure when it comes to induced expenditure it will be definitely having a very much positive relationship with income so when income increases induced expense or induced spending will also increase induced expense can increase only if there is in increase in income induced expenditure can happen only if there is income otherwise this will not happen that's all about the concept of autonomous expenditure and its difference with the induced expenditure that's how you can differentiate autonomous expenditure and induced expenditure hope you could understand Thank you for watching. I like. I request you to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Also, you can be a part of our Telegram community by clicking onto the link given in the description box. Also, you can download the Learn Economy app. For that, also I'll be providing the link in the description box. That's it. Thank you for watching.